splinter, stains, everything. Bolts to distract you from the pain.
up guys welcome back to my channel today we have none other than the infamous instagram pasta cologne pompeii fat long fusilli more or less today i created a very autumn inspired sauce for this crazy looking pasta out of baked apples carrots onion and some miso I also ended up adding a little bit of fresh ginger off camera. I realized I had it after the fact and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna throw it in. I also added a little bit of lemon juice and I was thinking about adding cayenne, but I didn't want to do anything with this beautiful color. Oh, and I added turmeric, which literally, literally went all over my kitchen. I dropped an enormous container of it and it went everywhere. <laughs> that stains real easy, just FYI. Everything, it stains everything. My nails, my hands, my floor, everything, everything. <laughs> so don't spill turmeric, long story short. I also had started this in the food processor and I was like, this is not as smooth as I want. So I ended up putting it in our blender, which is a Nutribullet. I highly, highly recommend adding to a high-speed blender. It will get your sauce silky, smooth, as you could see when I added it to the pasta. It was just not like that when I put everything in the food processor. This is super duper savory, by the way, and I, I used bone broth, chicken bone broth, but you can absolutely 100% make this vegan by adding a vegetable broth, a miso broth if you want. It's essentially vegan, guys. I mean, no cream, no butter, just a little olive oil to roast everything. These apples are so good, we picked them ourselves. All right, guys, you know the drill with this pasta. We're gonna, we're gonna show you a little shaky shake. And then we're going to try our best to eat it as gracefully as possible. <sighs> TikTok, it's almost winter. Winter is coming. All right, guys. <laughs> what attempt is this? The third, the fourth, something like that. I still don't think I'm gonna be able to eat it very gracefully, but we'll just see how it goes. Off to a great start. Mm. That was highly successful. I said it before, this seriously, so, so savory. The apples, when they roast, they get really sweet. They already had this like really awesome tartness. So it adds, you know, the tart, the sweet, the carrots are already getting that like kind of deep, sweet flavor. The miso is salty, so it kind of balances out that sweetness. The onion is definitely more savory too and the lemon juice that I added off camera at the end definitely helped give that little extra oomph in the tang department because the apples were definitely a little bit more sweet than tart after we <laughs> after they baked kitten. He's so cute he's coming to hang out. Ginger and carrot go so, so well together. Hmm? 
Fresh flat leaf parsley. It's kind of grassy, but also a little bit lemony. It is like the only parsley in my opinion. The curly variety has like virtually no flavor. It's just like exists for no reason. If somebody has an idea of what to do with curly parsley, I actually have some that like just won't go bad. Honestly, anything that I try to keep fresh for as long as I can in the fridge goes bad, obviously. But this curly parsley is just like hanging on. Oh my gosh, I wish that I had more orange wine. The orange theme video, my shirt's like a little bit more red, which I am wearing by the way. I know it's like a tube top situation. You could also add meat to this if you wanted. Mm. I had white on before. That would have been a mistake. Somehow, when I spilled the turmeric, I didn't get any that I saw on my new white sweater. Like, freaking God help me. Turmeric. You can definitely taste the turmeric in here, too. Not overpowering. Just a little there in the background. It's got kind of a, a bitterness to it. Oh my gosh, so I have to tell you guys what I did today. A couple of videos ago, was it my last video? No, two videos ago, I told you I was getting this treatment called All Therapy. They like canceled my last appointment last week and like fit me in today. Mm. So I told you all therapy is like this uh, ultrasound like laser situation where they can like pinpoint different layers or like they can like see through different layers of skin. They can see where nerves are, where bone is, all of the things. And they target a couple of different layers of your skin in order to like create collagen production. So they're like causing a ruckus under your skin and then because of the ruckus, collagen forms. <laughs> ruckus, like when's the last time I used that word? So apparently it takes like six to nine months to see like the full results. I had thought it was after three months, whatever. When I made the appointment, it was like, oh my gosh, there's no bad thing about this. It was less expensive than I thought it was going to be. I spent, just to let you know, about $1,000 on like my whole face as a one-time treatment. Well, I got it here and here, and it's preventative. Like, that's why I'm doing it. I don't think I look old. I'm just doing it so that I can stay as youthful looking as possible for as long as possible. And I had seen like that other people were paying upwards of $2,500, so I was pretty happy to have found um, from, I think, a reputable place. I mean, Ideal Image, you guys maybe have heard of it before. This is not sponsored, by the way. My experience hasn't been like 100% great. The price was great. The technician that did everything for me today was great. The person that I talked to on the phone initially for my consultation was great. Woman at the front office, not great. She was just not there to help. <laughs> not there to help. Mm. So nothing was mentioned at any point that this was a painful procedure, right? I'm like, oh wow, this is this is awesome. I'm thinking like when I got laser that they had to like do a laser once on like each follicle, but I did like such a large area, like all my legs, my underarms, etc. I'm thinking this is gonna take not very long, and because it's not gonna take very long, it's not gonna hurt that bad. Uh -uh. Mm. So 
So they had two different like instruments. It seemed like, well, maybe the same one, but there were two different kinds that went to different like levels of your skin. One went deeper and one was more superficial. So it stayed like near the surface. Holy friggin' crap, guys. The superficial things that they did were, they hurt so bad. It was like somebody was like giving you a massive headache. Like it was all through here, through here, and all down here that they did it. And they gave me this little like a vibrating button. I was like, what's this for? She's like, well, it's to distract you from the pain. I'm like, whoa, what? No one said anything about pain. I would have taken a Tylenol or an ibuprofen or something before I showed up, but I had no idea. So, and actually it doesn't hurt at all after. I was expecting to have to take some sort of painkiller today afterwards because I was just like, I was shaking, sweating a little bit. I was like doing this like breathing thing where every time she would do another line, I would just breathe in really aggressively and like hold down the button. <laughs> it, was, it was so painful. Granted, it's one hour, and if this works the way I hope that it works, totally worth it, and I will definitely do it again in like five years or so as like a maintenance thing. Because it's really like the collagen forms, it tightens your skin, but you continue to age, right? So as you continue to age, your skin is gonna like lose more collagen again. Of course, you can help with diet, but this is just like, So the nurse, it was a nurse, a nurse practitioner that did the treatment for me, which made me feel awesome. Like she is a medical professional, not just some like Susie Schmo, not Joe Schmo. I could have picked like another woman's name that rhymed with Joe. I went with Susie. I'm really not sure why. Could have picked anybody off the street to be doing these procedures, like somebody with just like a standard license but no this was a nurse practitioner she was awesome she uh used to work in the emergency room and said that she like switched over i'm like man this has got to be way better than working in an actual hospital right now though she said that she doesn't really love that she puts people in so much pain i guess it really depends on the day right maybe some days you enjoy it this would be so good with sausage or roasted chicken mm. So, they took before pictures. I'm gonna take my own before pictures here with makeup on. I think every couple of weeks, I'll probably take a new set of pictures. I don't know if that's too frequent, honestly, because it seems like the changes are done like really, really slowly. But I guess it can't hurt. I can always compare 
the beginning to the three month to see the bigger difference. So I guess it wouldn't matter if I took more. If this works, guys, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Non-invasive. I'm all about non-invasive. The sauce is so silky smooth. Hmm? I feel like I twirled a piece last time or in other occasions. Oh, only a little knot. I really want to make a roasted garlic pasta sauce that's like, you know, fall themed too. I can't decide what to add to it though. I loved putting this sauce in the blender. I mean, it did freaking magic in there. Okay, Dane, come at ours. You're very cute, you know. You're very cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, silly baby. Get in. She's so cute. Yes, baby. Oh. Yes. Want to come say hi to all of the people? Hmm. What's happening up here? What's that? That's got the stuff that mom spilled all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Very nutritious. Nutritious. Are you the sweetest baby ever? Are you the sweetest? Usually you'd be complaining to get off of me, so I'm just gonna like soak this in right now. Soak it in, soak it up. Oh, okay, okay. It's both too soon. Get him! Get off the counter! Him, him! I think he's hungry. We're almost done here, kitten. So, next time I make this, and I know I added chicken stock, but I wanted to see, like, I know chicken stock can be easily subbed out. I wanted to make it, like, mostly plant-based so that I could, like, know that the flavor was there without adding on any other, like, sort of animal products. However, 
I would love to add <laughs> some Parmesan cheese to this. I think that it could stand to have a little bit more saltiness, different kind of saltiness than what the miso is giving. I mean, I can try to add a little bit more miso next time. I ended up adding, I think it was two tablespoons about of white miso, which is kind of like yellowish in color. So it sticks with this whole like orangey yellow theme. Okay, then. He just goes down there. I'm not even sure, that's where the litter box is. I don't know if he even uses the litter box while he's down there. He just goes down there and starts crying. And I'm like, why? Why are you crying, boy? Why are you crying? All right, I'm gonna have one more. And then I'm calling it. I feel like I ate a good amount. And I've been like picking on the raspberries that we picked the other day. We picked fresh apples, fresh raspberries. They are so good. I actually had like a small apple too. I feel like I look naked. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me with the eating today. This is a really fun recipe. I think there's definitely some things I'm going to want to tweak for the next time I make it. It was very, very savory. I mean, I would love, like I said before, to add some like roasted chicken or Italian sausage to this, some Parmesan cheese, which, oh, I just love my cheese and I'm a meat eater. I just like crave having meat. I also need to figure out, I know I said I wanted to do another roasted fall vegetable Fredo, which I'm still planning to do. I just want to make it different this time. So I'm going to pick different vegetables. I was thinking maybe parsnip. Uh, I think I'll probably still use carrot and onion, uh, but I want to include some different stuff. I added fennel and butternut squash last time. So I definitely want to switch those things out. I think I used leeks last time too. So if you have any suggestions for other fall vegetables and not pumpkin, because I'm going to be making a pumpkin alfredo, just like pumpkin by itself with a homemade pumpkin pasta that I'm very excited about. So comment below all of your suggestions for that. Other fall recipes, of course. What is my cat doing? Thank you guys so much for joining today. Just really Really appreciate you guys. You know, you could be doing so many things with your time and you're choosing to spend however long with me. So thank you. I am so grateful for all of you. And yeah, I just really appreciate you guys is all. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna go like round up my cat because I have no idea what he has and it's starting to worry me. Thank you guys again so much for joining today and I'll see you guys next time. I've got sauce in my hand.